So, as the old saying goes, if you've got nothing positive to say, don't say anything at all. Which might explain why I've not made a video in quite a while. This video, we're basically be looking at Boom Wholesale and their new way of selling stock. Um, but before we get into that, help it in the room, because um, I've not posted in ages, I've deleted all my social medias. Um, basically, I'm not being well. Uh, cost of living crisis kicked in, caused a lot of havoc. So I'm currently uh, in the process of downsizing. So if you are looking for bargains, I'm selling off lots of stock for very cheap over on eBay. I'll post a link in the description. But that's not why we're here. I may cover it in another video. I may not. I don't know. Uh, but to those who have sent messages, either through Depop, through whatever means they've been able to find me from, because you guys are uh, pretty good at hunting people down, um, thank you for your messages. I appreciate the thought. But Boom Wholesale, as you know, I'm a fan. Um, they've changed the way they process their stock. And it makes sense. They are, after all, a rag mill. They get what they get. They don't really cherry pick it. It's not like they're ordering X amount of uh, clothes from a wholesaler in like, Pakistan or Dubai. Literally everything they get is what's basically thrown away in the country, in this country. Um, so when they're selling hiking jackets, for example, they may not receive hiking jackets for a couple of weeks because it depends on what people are throwing away. Um, so what they've done is they've switched to kilo base with bags like this one. Um, all the bags are sold at 18 kilo, but I actually weighed this. This is down at 20 kilo, but it just weighs about just over 19. Um, and they're all basically made, sealed and stacked up, ready for you to purchase. Uh, which means this hasn't been cherry picked because when I ordered this, it got dispatched pretty much straight away. Uh, because they have them ready um, and we're just basically going to go through what's in here uh, now what they say is in here uh, the sack includes branded sweatshirts this is the branded mix they do a branded and unbranded this is 220 quid i think the unbranded is 175 ish i can actually just check let me just check yeah 175 for the unbranded um <sighs> So what's included in this? Branded sweatshirts, jackets, hiking jacket, fleece, shorts, joggers, windbreakers, shirts, knitwear. Um, it says one-piece barber, one-piece Harris tweed, two-piece high-end um, t-shirts, obviously. You know I hate t-shirts. Uh, branded denim jackets, branded jeans. Um, all in all, it'll be between 38 to 45 pieces, but it could be more, obviously, depending um, what kind of mix ratio you get. If you get a load of shirts and t-shirts, you're going to end up with even more pieces. But we're going to do this old school, we're going to unbox this, um, we're going to go for each piece, see what we think they're worth, and total it up at the end. Um, there will be a unique discount code specifically for this, um, for you guys, because uh, you guys have been using the discount code that already exists, um, which has basically got you a lot of discount. Um, I actually know how much money you guys have saved, and it's an extraordinary amount. So... Uh, there is going to be a unique discount code purely for this video only. So if you're watching this video, you'll actually get more discount than if you use um, the website. Um, and this code will not be going on the website. It'll only be on this video alone. Um, so yeah, let me uh, crack this bad boy open because it's still sealed. And uh, we'll see what we've got. Oh, there's a hat. Ugh. Washington's Redskins uh, beanie. Can't sell that on Depop. <laughs> All right, first off the bat is a Burberry's coat. So, 90s, early 2000s, kind of padded coat. A little bit of chalk on there. So, first off the bat, Nice Burberry's coat, like what, 50, 60 quid straight off the top. Uh, new era Miami Dolphins shiny cap. Actually, what I should probably do is do the things like I used to. So, 10 quid, we'll put a price up here, we'll just do a total. Uh, probably a tenner again. 50 quid for the coat. 
Tommy Hilfiger summer shirt, another tenner. We want to get rid of this stuff quick. Modern Nike sweatshirt for all that 20 quid. Is that Coogie? Oh, this might be the other high end piece. Coogie Triple XL with like handprints on the back. It's a big old boy, but I'm wearing two sweatshirts as well at the minute. I don't know what this goes for, I'd have to do some research, but it's Coogie, so we'll call it 50 quid just to be fair, right? Uh, Nike World Championship. Oh, quite an old one. Nike bit. You can see the older tag. Uh, some marks, but that'll wash out. We'll call that, it's missing a button, we'll call that 20 quid again. Because we want to get rid of this stuff quick. Now, whether or not I'm going to be using this in the future, I don't know, because I prefer specific stock, and as part of my downsizing, I was planning on sticking to very specific pieces. So, we'll have to see what I do with that. Uh, Levi's hoodie, well, we'll just call it 20 quid for these things. Be conservative with it. Uh, Ralph Lauren Polo Sport cable net with like a badge in the middle. Horrible thing in mint. But again, 15, 20 quid. An old Polo Ralph Lauren fleece. 25 probably. But there's no damage with it. Uh, the Cost Sport knit. Oh, a nice old Adidas. An actual old Adidas sweatshirt. So all these items in here are what would have been in the separate categories. I'm not sure if that's a jumper or a sweatshirt, it's kind of weird. Uh, Ralph Hoodie. All these things just put down as 20 quid, right? Be conservative with it. You might fetch more, you might not. A Lowen, uh, is that Lowen Pro? Oh, Low Alpine uh, Fleece. Fergie Fleece. Michael Kors, like, puffer thing. A bit garish. Uh, North Face hunting jacket. Not hunting, probably about hiking. Just a nice rain mac. Don't know why I put this thing on, because it's boiling now. Columbia puffer jacket. One of those brands that you don't really talk about because it's kind of like worth a lot of money. But it's a Paramo. Another hiking coat. They sell for good money. Track tops, uh, track, tracky bottoms even. Um, they're, what are they? Early 2000 Nike, so they're 25 quidders. Nike joggers again, we'll just put that down as 20 because they're modern. More. XL. We've definitely got more than 200 quid for that, that's for sure. Oh. Early 2000s Nike uh, jacket with the big swoosh on the back. That's uh, a good 40, 50 quidder. Tommy shirt. Ralphie shirt. Is that stained or is it just like a weird fade? That's like a weird fade. Wrangler flannel. I'll put total up on the top like I said, so we'll just keep adding stuff to the total as we go. Deodora, the Adorn collection. Track top. Like I said, they do an unbranded box. Um, if you do want to see what that is, let me know and I might get it. Because I think I actually prefer the unbranded stuff to the branded. Uh, Nike Tech fleece. It's a fairly modern one. 
but I mean I was looking at the night shop the other day and these things are like 60 70 quid new Umbro track top fairly modern again Like dry fit t-shirt thingy it's actually cool it's got the swoosh up the sleeve I don't know if you can see that in multiple colors Ugh, t shirts, right? Prada with like weird shouldery shit on it. Uh, New England Patriot NFL top. What's this? Animal? Oh, Carhartt, sorry. Yeah, nice Carhartt tee. That's probably worth more than the rest. <laughs> Nike World Tour. That's a cool t shirt. Uh, Ralphie Polo. Oh, early 2000 Nike Court Australian Open. 2001 Australian Open. Ralphie Shorts. Uh, Wrangler Shorts. I'll be looking at what's left. I didn't see a barber, but obviously I'm just going to take that as they didn't have any barbers. Um, so I probably got something else in here instead of the barber, but I couldn't probably tell you what it is. Um, Ralphie shorts, some grass stains on it, hopefully they'll wash out. Nike shorts. Oh no, here's the barber. So there is a barber in here. Just a quilted gelée. pair of car hearts, like 20 odd quid, 501s, can't be a pair of 501s, nice and easy, Ooh. oh that's a car heart denim jacket, I'm just going to pause this here a second, uh, so this is actually a Michigan uh, work in progress chalk coat and they sell used for around about 80 quid on eBay, um, I didn't really pick that up at the time but I've done some research since so there you go. Like a chalk coat style. A pair of Dickies. I'm guessing they're Red Hawks, are they? Yeah. Dicky double knees. Um, and last but not least, the uh, Harris Tweed. Let's have a look. It's been played with quite a bit. It's a 60s one, though, so it is vintage. You can tell, old tag. Belong to Mr. A.D. Stewart, apparently. Nice, actual small size. A lot of these end up coming in huge. So there we go. Uh, I'm not sure what the total is. I'll put the total up here. But this is what comes in the 220 quid um, sack. And I think it's very easily worth far more. I'm going to guess before I put the total up. What, 650, 700 quid return? Depends on what this is worth and um, a few other bits are worth. But I'll do that in post and figure it out. But uh, there you go. Um, if you do want to see the unbranded one, let me know. Might not do it. Uh, I might do it. I've got to figure out if I can fit it into the plan or not. Um, but yeah, there is a discount code for you guys to try this yourself. Um, I don't have social media, so you can't let me know, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, until next time, whenever that is, uh, I will see you later.